Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my Wade and Butcher Sheffield. This is just a beautiful razor. Nice wedge, horn scales, beautiful. Check this out. Isn't that marvelous? Out of the 1800s, really nice. And for our soap tonight, Stubble Trouble Up and Atom. And this is with a whisper of cool, so it's got a little bit of menthol in it. But I just, I was in the mood. I needed to have that kind of coffee hit. You know, and this really is just a wonderful coffee type scent. Uh, maybe for me, like a mocha cappuccino. It's just marvelous. So I've had that pot boiling. We're going to pour off that water. I'm going to put that on his pre-shave. Just like normal. And let's get going. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I really do enjoy coffee. Now for my brush tonight, we are using my Omega 10,098. Got most of that water out of there, but still left some in. And there you go. We're going to load this brush up. Oh yeah. Yep. So, how's your weekend? I hope you're having a good weekend. I really do. I hope the world's treating you good. And uh, you're well, for that matter. Hopefully you've had some downtime and uh, you've been able to spend time with family and friends. That's always good. Yeah. You know, recharge those batteries. Very nice. All right. And I think we're pretty much there on this soap already. I'm just going to clean up around the bowl like normal and I'll put most of that right there on the top of that brush and get the rest on. Yeah, I really do enjoy that coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how about you? Do you like coffee? Are you a coffee drinker? Yeah? Yeah, I tell you, it is good stuff. There you go, look at this. Yeah, oh yeah. Stubble trouble. Yeah. Adam makes some marvelous soaps. Yeah, he does. Okay, let's kick this up. Now, tell me about your shaves. You've been having some good shaves? I hope so. That would be nice. Yep. Yeah. That water where it belongs? Yep. Yeah, let me know in the comments. You know, down in the comments, let me know how your shaves are going. I would really like to know. Now, that's one of the good things about this hobby. We can share our experiences. So I hope you are having good shaves, maybe even great shaves. Yep. And keep in mind that on the first and third Friday of every month, I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials. Normally they're shave related and not necessarily shave, 
However, this last time, I did now for something completely different. Music and shade. So you can check that out right up here if you missed it. All right. Now this is pass one, which is going to be with the grain primarily. Let's do this. Look at that. This razor just blew right through that beard like it wasn't even there. Nice. Okay, check that out. There we go. Oh yeah. Now one thing I've found with these uh, wedges is uh, you don't get any really audio feedback, but you do get mechanical feedback, which is good. Nice. Okay. Switching hands. Let's get this other side. There it is. There we go.
Oh yeah. Really good. Yeah, this soap has a uh, good cushion, nice and slick. one complete there you go nice felt good all right and again for uh, anybody new to this straight razor wet shaving process and or actually for that matter DE uh, the reason why we do multi-pass shaves is to get it from different directions and then that helps really reduce that beard so that first shave or that you just saw, saw first pass is uh, just beard reduction that's all it is so that took most of it off and now I just am going to deal with what's left so to keep in mind it's not a one of those five blade or whatever kind of cartridge razors this we do multiple passes so tip of the day we do multiple passes don't look for that bbs shave right off the bat with the multiple passes though you can get that shave within two or three passes easy enough yep so tip of the day right there And put a little bit more water on that soap. We're gonna kick it up. Now, uh, one of the things I've been finding that I really like over this last summer is something called cold brewed coffee. And basically, I'll give you the recipe. Yeah, because I make it here at home. It's going to be one pound, or no, one pound, one cup, let's do it this way, one cup of coffee to three cups of water, and then you can make it as big or as small as you want from there, all right? And then what you do, there's no hot water, only add cold water, and you put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours, and just let it sit, and you will have a magnificent coffee after that if you drink milk in your coffee you can put like a quarter cup of coffee three quarters of a cup of milk and you'll still have a nice strong cup of coffee good stuff yep so if you haven't tried that and you're into coffee give it a shot I really am enjoying it and uh, doing it this way you don't have any of the acid or bitterness. It is just super smooth going down. It is awesome. So maybe check that out. Now, I do Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so stop on by, check it out, all right? Now, this is Pass 2, which is primarily going to be against the grain on my cheeks, against the grain here, and on my neck. That's going to be uh, across the grain, so let's do this.
Nice. Yeah, and for me, uh, these wedges are just marvelous. They are very forgiving and comfortable. I really like them. Yeah, some of my favorite razors are near wedges, wedges, and quarter hollows. They're good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Getting there. Oh, what a wonderful shave, though. Really enjoy it. There we go. Alright, looking good. Now, get that cleaned off. All right. There we go. Pass to complete. Yeah. Looking good. Now, let's get that rinsed off. See how we did. Mm, oh, yeah. Cheats right where we need them. Yep. Looking good. Oh, yeah. Now, the half pass. Let's do this.
Now this is primarily going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. And it's going to finish this shave off. Don't need a full pass, full three passes. I just need a two and a half pass. So we're going to do the half pass this time. Let's do this. And, you know, just try to figure out the best way for you to do it. Okay? That's all you have to do. Yeah, your face is different. Oh, I caught myself a little bit right there. Than mine. So you just have to figure it out. Not a big deal. Oh yeah, nice. Definitely, definitely close. There we go. Very nice. Okay. Now the shave in the books. Yep. How wonderful. Now. That's it right there. Nice. All right. Now, alum everywhere. There we go. Very nice. All right. And for our aftershave tonight. There's Lavender Witch Hazel. Excellent. Good stuff for the face. And it really does help with the redness for me. And we put that everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Alright. And for our aftershave bomb, Spice Island. Yep. That's it. This is some good stuff too. And this is a really kind of sweet, spicy, bay rum thing. I like it. Yep, I do. Oh yeah, 
nice. That's it right there. Okay. Hey, listen. Really appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. You click right up here to see the best beginner shave you've ever seen. All right. Again, thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank you for all my new subscribers as well. Really appreciate you and all of you that have been with me from the beginning. Thank you so much. You can click right here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment. Share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.